Got any lemonade? If you like. Ta. Milk. Eee. This what Mo Salah drinks. Mo Salah. Yeah. And he says, if I don't drink lots of milk, when I'm older, I'm longer to be good enough to play for Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday? Who are they? Exactly. Give us some. Nah, get off. Get off. It's true, isn't it? There's an entire generation of kids, 20, 25 years, who's grown up and never known Sheffield Wednesday as, as a big club in top flight. That advert could actually, genuinely, have us in it. And kids would be like... Yeah, there are Sheffield Wednesday. <sighs> anyway, that's where we are. That's where we're playing. Accrington Stanley against Sheffield Wednesday. Match preview. Okay, we'll have a quick look at Accrington Stanley's results. So, most recent result, they got a, a 4 1 paste in at home by Plymouth Argyle. No shame in that when we've been pasted 3 0 twice by them ourselves. So, uh, they had a good win in the Cup 4 1 against Fleetwood Town. And the previous league away game, a 5-1 paced in away at Port Vale. They got a 0-0 against Gillingham. Uh, we know what a tricky game that is after that absolute shower show of the week. What an audible game that were. And they got a 2-2 against Portsmouth, who started the season pretty brightly. OK, a quick look at Accrington Stanley's standings. That's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Played 16, won 6 drawn three and lost seven scored 20 goals conceded 29 so we can see where issue is there 21 points on the board and currently sat in 14th position now their danger man is a midfield player harry pell that's a very nice old-fashioned name that harry pell that sounds like a second world war army hero doesn't he five goals and three assists this season he's a man to to watch out for for wednesday and what about Wednesday? How Wednesday going to line up? It's probably going to be three at back because that seems to be the thing now that's getting us these draws. Or is it the thing stopping getting us wins? Anyway, it's going to be a back three. Who's going to be in it is anybody's guess. Palmer and Dunkley, as long as neither of them's injured or suspended or anything like that. Um, I'd like to see Brennan come in at set half. I know people say he's a young lad, inexperienced, blah, blah, blah. You don't get experience unless you get games, do you? If you're a centre half, it doesn't matter really how old you are, does it? Get out, get some games. So I'd stick him in. Sod it. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather that than is it going to be Patterson? Is it going to be a centre forward? Is it going to be a left winger, a right winger? Stick Brennan in there for me. In fact, you can have a look at the team I'd pick. Yeah, this would be my team. Peacock Farrell will start it there. I think that I think that's bog standard now for Wednesday. Palmer, Dunkley and Brennan at back. I like that. Put the kid in. Give him a chance. Midfield, Patterson, I'd have it right. So I'd wing back. I think that's where his best game this season's come. Equally, Corbino, or Corbiano, as commentators seem to want to call him. I'd have him at left wing back. I think that's where his best game's come from. And I don't particularly think Shadipo's been in any blistering form. Bannon's going to play, obviously. Del Bichero. That last spot, wing... There's an argument for Luongo. Let's not rush him back and, and get him fucked up again, though. I'd be happy to see a 10-minute cameo from Luongo. And up front, I'll go with uh, Canberra and Sow. A partnership that offers different aspects, you know what I mean? Different skill sets. Canberra's quite a big unit, likes closing people down. He's a bit of a menacing six-yard box. Sow, he's got them cute one-tools outside box and he likes to crack a shot away from distance. So, a nice blend. Well, I think so anyway, you know what I mean. Do I think I've, I've got a chance of seeing my team on Park today? I'm not sure because uh, I wasn't expecting to see Patterson at centre-half last weekend. I wasn't expecting to see Johnson at left centre-half. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't expecting to see Sow at one point playing it as an auxiliary right-back. So that's the team I'd like to see. Whether we will, I don't know. He does seem to fancy better, you know, above Sow. I'm um, other way around at the moment, but uh, we'll see how we get on. The, the good thing is, these are conceding more goals than they scored in Accrington Stanley. So Wednesday will not have a better opportunity to, to get back on track after that cup defeat. 
than getting a result today against these. And I think we will. I think we can get a result against these away from home. I really, really do. I just hope I pick the right team. I hope I don't pick the wrong team and we sneak a result. I always want us to win. But I hope we don't pick a bad team and we sneak a result. And then he goes into next week thinking, it worked that, it was a great idea. And then we get smacked. Do you know what I mean? So I want him to pick the right team and then get a result. And obviously, when I say the right team, uh, I mean the one that I picked. Because uh, that's what we all do, innit? We always pick the right team. Us fans. Our teams never lose, do they? Because they never play. Anyway, come on Wednesday.